Hi, my name is Empty Without Brain. In this video, I am going to outline the concept of learning. Learning is a multifaceted process which involves an individual's learning history, learning environment, and the interactions between those environments. For instance, we can say that we have learned something where we can understand and explain it by demonstrating our understanding through a discussion with someone. There are many ways and methods we can apply to learn a concept, however, they all revolve around five main dimensions. But to save time, I will focus on the dimension Stella Cottrell referred to as by detail or by the whole picture. This dimension outlines how some people learn best when they see the overall picture. Some people get overwhelmed when given too much detail early on. Others learn best when building up the details, allowing the whole picture to emerge. The whole picture can be meaningless unless they have a taste of specific details. For instance, rather than looking at the completed puzzle, a person will wait until they have understood and recognized how all of the pieces fit together. This illustrates deep processing of information, making more sense of what we learn. We can make more sense of our experiences by looking for valid explanations. By asking ourselves questions, we stimulate our thinking through exploring the problem from diverse angles. Through these different angles, we can raise new questions and experiment with possible answers which can help us process information at a deeper level. We are not all sure of our knowledge until we put it to the test by demonstrating what we have understood to ourselves and to others. One way of testing our knowledge is by putting it to use. For example, by analyzing the different angles in the study of evolution and disease, scientists have been able to experiment their knowledge searching for answers and utilize their understanding by creating instruments to treat people who are suffering from terminal illnesses. I illustrated in my last video to Sean how chemotherapy and radiotherapy treated me when I had cancer which demonstrated the utility of the evolution model. So unless a creationist is able to reflect on their model of reality by looking at the whole picture from different angles, their knowledge will only demonstrate a bigoted, biased, closed-minded and dim-witted point of view when critiquing evolution. But I would like to make this clear, I have no problem with religion. For example, what the Anglicans have done for Whitechapel in London through Tomby Hall I think is inspirational. My only problem is with creationism, and judging by what I have seen from the advocates on YouTube is a truly awful representation of any organized religion. But you can prove me wrong by answering this one question. What is the utility of creationism? Before I end, I would like to introduce you to a YouTuber called El Presidente Tell, who makes fantastic videos. He is definitely worth a look. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and favorite.